What's up everyone and I'd like to warmly welcome you back to Seek Music. Carlon Ferguson is currently on your screen of course. Now if this is your first time here, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment and share. Also hit me up in social media, Snapchat, Carlon123, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Seek Music, all in the description below. Now today I've got a very different video for you guys because I was going to do this action but then I figured, you know what, why not film it for you guys. So let us get into it. So guys, I was going to complete this action, like I said before, but then I said, you know what, why not film this relatively short experience, just so you guys can see what I've been up to. So long story short, my goodness, long story short, let me give you some context. So this snare drum you see here, this, I'm pretty sure it's steel, I'm hoping it's steel. Yep, this snare drum is older than me. Uh, this is actually my church steel drum, like the church where I grew up. Um, and yeah, I've had it for a while, and you're probably wondering, oh, Carlon, why is there no top head? And it's because we ran into an incident on one of um, the watch night services. Uh, for those of you who don't know what watch night is, it's the it's New Year's Eve. So you know, obviously, how people have their own celebrations. Well, churches, we celebrate entering the new year. And what had happened was, um, up the, on the main snare drum, the snare had actually broken on top. So literally within a good, like maybe 10 minutes, I had to undo all of the lugs and everything, swap the head. And then afterwards, I was just like, you know what? Anyone mind if I take this home? And they're just like, yeah, no problem. So it's actually been sitting underneath my floor, Tom, for maybe about a year. And I finally, <laughs> I finally stopped being lazy and actually um, bought a head, a nice Remo controlled sound right here. And one of the things I like about Remo, I loved this. I thought that was very handy, just to give you an idea on what all of their heads do. So for those of you who know, obviously I've got pinstripes on top of my toms, got a coated ambassador on the top of the snare, and then underneath I've got some emperors. So yeah, as my resonant heads, but I thought that was really good. Also the bass drum is a power stroke, um, power stroke three. But I actually should mention it's a broken power stroke three. Uh, I was playing and I've had these heads for about maybe two years, something like that, maybe two and a half years. And I actually broke the bass drum head. But fortunately, it's just this small crack. So I've just been taping it, taping it, taping it. But don't worry, I do have a new head, but I'm making sure I replace that when the time is right. But anyway, back into the video. So yeah, long story short, I figured, you know what, let me pimp up this snare. And yeah, so got... This by Remo, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. However, Remo, if you'd like to sponsor me, come my way, man, let me know. But yeah, so Remo controlled sound. Then I also got, literally just right off of Amazon, Pure Sound custom snare wires. Yep, so there's a bit, that's that. Goodness. And Pure Sound uh, for the snares on uh, the bottom head. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this all fitted. Uh, don't really need to open this or this because you can obviously see the content but to get down into the gist of things here let's open this baby we got there so yeah Pop this open. See what we got. Voila! Yeah, man. This looks nice. Whoa, that's actually cool. So from this side, it's just like a completely black dot. But then obviously over here, it's got sort of like a grey. One of the things about me when it comes to drum heads, my advice to you, always test the drum head. Just get an idea of what that sounded like. I mean, can't lie, that almost sounds like a bass drum. Like just with no dampening or something. But yeah, I'm gonna get this snare fitted. And based off of the fact that tonight, like as I'm filming this, what time is it? It's currently 10 past nine. So <laughs> um, you'll probably see this snare drum or hear it. I, in, in fact, in the first video that I do with this, I'll make sure to put a message in there saying, look, this is the first time I'm using the steel snare drum. 
I've forgotten what this baby even sounds like so especially after I've pivoted it up with some upgrades no clue uh, how it might affect the kit but definitely looking forward to it this is honestly a favorite snare drum of mine like I said it's older than me but yeah that brings us to the end of the unboxing and if you guys want me to do a review video on it I know many of you are going to be asking what snare drum is this I have no clue I don't know the brands who made it no clue well I don't I don't even know if it's steel or not I'm presuming it's steel but yeah uh, so anyway that brings us to the end of the video I am hoping you've enjoyed please feel free to like subscribe comment and share hit me up in the social media snapchat column 123 Instagram Facebook Twitter at Seaf Music all in the description below and yeah guys just wanted to give you a little different video because like I said I was literally just gonna fit this snare head and fit the wires and straps and stuff and then I said to myself you know what why not at least show you guys so yeah there we have it and I'm looking forward to being able to have my wood snare and my steel snare featured I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep the dampener in I might have to do a few checks with that I'm not 100% certain yeah now that I think about it I'm not too sure do I take it out from now and just get the natural sound because I can always just get some moon gel on this in fact yeah I'm gonna take it out and I can always just experiment or something oh no but then I can I haven't I have yet to decide but yeah <laughs> that brings us to the end I'm hoping you've enjoyed take care and god bless